is some of conditioning exercise. You can work at home, family exercise, individual exercise. So very simple, it doesn't take too long and you can do as many as you want. All right, so before I am going to start with two different ways of doing your press-ups, which is a closed press-ups and a wide press-up. This is a closed press-ups. Keep on to your front support and you can bend your elbows. Make sure your arms are completely in. You can do between three and five and you move on to your wide press-ups. Exactly the same between three and five, and then you can go straight into a plank shape. Hold between three and five seconds. Do not arch your back, keep your back nice and tight, and move into a front support. Plank position, front support, plank position, hold between three and five. You can move your hands out in between three and five. You can repeat as many as you want. That's your arms exercises. Have a practice. So your next exercise will be exercise to keep your tummy nice and tight. So a lot of work on your abs muscles. Okay, so it's a small routine, so trying to remember all the exercise is going to be between three and five times. Up to you how much strong you feel doing this. You are going to sit into pike shape and then you're going to do inverted scissors and cross scissors and out. Move your legs out. Move your legs in, and then you're gonna hold your pike shape for three seconds, and then you're going to do your dish shape for three seconds, and then your crunches for three seconds. After that, you're gonna roll onto your tummies, and you're gonna push your seal position for three or five seconds. And you can repeat those as many as you want. This is how you start. and cross and out 305 and inwards and balance and dash and crunches you can do between three and five on to your arch Inverted scissors and the cross and the seal shape for five seconds and sit down, put it in and out for five, ten seconds and restart as many as you want. Have a try. So the next exercise, you can work in pairs, or you can work by yourself, or a family, together. So you can use a wall, so you can put one of your hands against the wall, and keep your body nice and tight. So it's about working on your legs muscles and flexibility at the same time. And your outside leg facing forward, so make sure your knees is towards the ceiling all the time, your toes pointed, and keep your arms outside, and you're gonna raise your legs up uh, between three and five times. One, two, keep your body nice and straight. Three, four, five, and then hold between three and five seconds. You can repeat those 
three, four, five, as many times would you like to. After that, you move with your legs outwards. So it's the same position and arms in front of you. It's really important. Your knee being towards ceiling instead of down to the floor. And you lift. One, two, squeeze the tummies, three, four, and five, and hold for five seconds, or three, and two, one, and down. Do exactly the same on opposite leg, so you turn around with your facing opposite way, and nice and straight, so same leg, three times, or five times, whatever you feel comfortable doing it, and you hold for five seconds, and outward, remember your knees towards ceiling, tummy in, facing forward, and between three and five kicks, and three and five seconds, hold. Turn around, face against the wall, put your hands flat on the floor, on the wall, apologise, and keep your feet slightly closer to the wall, and arch your back, and raise your back leg up between three and five times, and hold five seconds, and swap leg. Keep looking at your fingers, arch your back, and hold between three and five seconds. So that's the common mistakes. If you bend your back, and try to keep your legs too high. We don't want to see legs higher, so it must be lower and your back arch. That's when you feel you're working properly instead of going too low and lift your legs up. Have a try.